Okay, so that's how we're powering the development, but how about waste disposal? I mean, the whole development sitting right next to the Sea of Cortez, an ecological wonder, and the place that again Jacques Cousteau called the world's aquarium. It's the most protected sea sanctuary in the entire world, and the government banned septic systems here years ago. Well, here's another instance where the development team was way ahead of its time. By incorporating a then groundbreaking technology known as aerobic biotreatment into individual systems, Rancho Costa Verde not only satisfied the governmental strict oversight committees, it won accolades from the country's top eco groups whose sole mission it is and was then to protect Mexico's rich heritage for the future generations. So you see, each home here is equipped with an underground extended bioaeration waste system that's no larger than a couple of 55 gallon drums that are turned on their sides, which are buried so they're never going to see the light of day again. And inside this two chamber process, air and oxygen are introduced into the organic matter that comes from the home, which sits in the first chamber. And that agitates the waste and promotes its natural growth of bacteria growth that in turn digests the organic matter in the liquid and after aeration the mixture is introduced into the second chamber where it rests allowing the now suspended solids to settle right to the bottom of the chamber and it's this continual process that results in the purification of the liquid being separated from the solids and coming out as simple garden water that's 98 percent pure H2O clear enough and clean enough almost to drink, but certainly enough to irrigate plants and other landscape around the home. And the smell? There is none. The bioorganic process filters out most of the compounds that cause the smell in the first place, and its chlorinator eliminates any danger of incidental bacteria. And in addition to reducing water consumption and its attendant cost, this aerobic treatment system also greatly reduces the biochemical oxygen demand, or BOD, which is a common measure of air pollution. In fact, the unit is so economical, so eco-sensitive, and so environmentally safe that the entire system uses just 67 watts of power and creates enough water to easily sustain the home's landscaping. So the result is, outside of the inspection caps that are typically integrated into the landscape and never seen, the only thing that's going to reveal the systems even in place is the landscaping and green grass that our residents may have outside their homes. All because Rancho Costa Verde was committed to doing things a better way, a cleaner way, and a more ecologically responsible and economically conservative way. Next up, the third pillar of green, water. Where do we get it from? That's next up in the next chapter.